in case you didn't know, it's International Day of the Girl. This important day was started 20 years ago by the UN to celebrate and empower girls all over the world. Three is so awesome. Three years ago, I celebrated with former First Lady Michelle Obama, and each year on this day, I continue to shine a light on women making a difference for future generations. And that's why we have, I'm so excited about this one, we have Olympic wrestler Tamira Mensa Stock with us today. Oh my God. I mean, that interview after she won, I was very excited. Anyway, um, we'll hear her incredible journey to going for and winning a gold medal. I love that interview. I'm going to talk about it a lot. Uh, plus, there's a young girl backstage who wants to be the next Tamira, and she has no idea her hero is here with some big news for her. You do not want to miss that. And that's not all. In honor of today, we have extraordinary young women in our house seats dialed in from all over the globe. We have Abby from Tanzania. She launched a super cool program called Teen Talks with Abby Chelms. Um, it's, a, it's to encourage kids to find real solutions for social issues. She's now also a UNICEF youth advocate for children's rights. It's amazing. Thank you for being with us, Abby. Then from India, she's a poet focuses on gender equality, body neutrality, and mental health, all very important things. At the age of 22, she is the youngest member of the G7's Gender Equality Advisory Council. Everybody meet Aranya. <laughs> Next is Layla, who's a Palestinian Jordanian street artist working to change her community's perception of women, one empty wall at a time. It is so lovely to have you. Thank you so much for joining us, Layla. Then everybody meet Navila from Sri Lanka. She is a peace builder who runs the Sisterhood Initiative, a female-led youth organization. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Wearing yellow, I love the color yellow. Uh, let's move on though to Yasmin, who's working to make sure young people in Australia have a real voice in the nation's politics. This year, she was awarded the Youth Influencer of the Year Award by the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. Way to go. That's so awesome. Thank you for joining us. And also dialed in from London. She's a singer-songwriter um, being praised by Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran. Not too shabby. She's been called an icon for young girls trying to navigate life. Everybody, please, please say hello to Maisie Peters. <laughs> Ed Sheeran signed um, onto his label. What was it like working with him on your first album? I loved where I just recently got to work with him on The Voice, and he was amazing. No, oh, it's amazing. He's truly like the sweetest, nicest man anyway. Um, but working with him, obviously, the first 10 minutes was the most anxiety-inducing thing ever, because obviously he's Ed Sheeran. So I just spent the first 10 minutes like stroking his cat nervously in the corner and like not making eye contact. But we've moved past that now, I think. <laughs> I can make eye contact now. So. Did you? She said stroking his cat nervously in the corner. It's amazing. Yeah. It's an awesome day in the studio. I'm like highly allergic to cats. So that would have been a very different studio day for me. Um, but I love cats. I think they're adorable and very independent. I'm into it. Um, well, thank you all for being a part of this celebration.